Hello and welcome. Thank you very much for participating in this Lightning Talk. My name is Oscar, just like my username. I am a volunteer of the Wikimedia movement since, since 2005, when I started editing the Spanish Wikipedia. I was the president of Wikimedia Venezuela from 2011 until 2021, and I am currently a contractor for the Wikimedia Foundation, Movement Strategy and Governance Team. I come here today to recollect my time as a volunteer in this tumultuous country. So let's start about the reason. What is this presentation come to be? The idea is not to highlight the crisis in my country, because I think it's already well enough highlighted in the media and in the wiki projects as well. I do it because I try to collect how our community has lived and suffered through this crisis, and how we can create a better support system, both locally and internationally, for those places in the world where similar things are happening right now. Of course, it is not my desire that any other country in the world go through this, but I understand that there is knowledge to recover and try to learn from them. So let's talk a little bit about the crisis itself. Venezuela has entered its eighth consecutive year of economic recession, and it is currently suffering the most significant economic collapse in the world outside of war zones. The nation's economy has been reduced for more than 50% of one producing in 2012. This is also the five year that Venezuela has experienced imperial inflation, with a price variation that more than 1 million percent accumulated since then. This has destroyed the purchasing power of people, which mostly depend on earning wages in the local currency, the Bolivar. So why did this happen? A uh, long story short, we leak a poisonous combination of economic mismanagement, rampant corruption, and fragmentation of institutions that led to an authoritarian state. These factors are also why 6 million of people have emigrated for uh, looking better luck in neighboring countries. So how do you survive that? How do you able to edit Wikipedia on site that? So living in Venezuela and contributing to Wikipedia, in my opinion, it is an exercise of peaceful resistance. Which doesn't mean that it has been easy for volunteering the country. Many have been forced as well to leave the country and give up their contribution to the projects. When this crisis began, along with the worsening economic and social crisis, the people went to the street to demonstrate. The government responded by meeting protesters with fire, shooting and killing many of them. Uh, this is also what made with widespread censorship on radio, television and also the internet and Wikipedia was targeted as well. The censorship was the final blow for people who believed that remaining neutral in situations like this was ideal. And this is why, as a group, we need to be better prepared because the consequences of the censorship were really high. So what coming next is my hot tech recommendation for this survival, based on my experience in these past years. The first one will be to hide. In Venezuela, almost always the best option is to hide in the vicinity of chaos, which means scaling down many of the things we do physically, like editathons and photo contests, because of the difficulties organizing them. This is why, long before we knew what COVID-19 was, in Venezuela we already were looking for ways to do remote volunteering, but we didn't know how to do that. Another one will be group support or peer support. Creating support group is vital not only for lives, but also for the Wikimedia projects. While editing Wikipedia is a solitary exercise, this doesn't mean that support group can be fostered. A cohesive group is more likely to succeed in the long run. Of course, this group is not going to change reality, but it can be a better cushion to do catharsis of the situation. And if it is editing Wikipedia, the better. But the support for local groups sometimes has to be encouraged and financed with the unconditional backing from the global movement. This one is talk living in Iceland. The movement needs to talk in living in a spot island. If we want to change something for 2030, that's in eight years, is the idea that each user group is affiliate is on its own alone in the world. Group support must be 
global support. During the crisis in Venezuela, we felt alone, isolated, and helpless. And this not should be the norm. If group of volunteers facing a crisis like this needs to be faced with hands, ready to help them and support them. Not only with kind words, but with concrete action to alleviate their pain. This one is another one really important, anonymity. Anonymity is key. We learned that in Venezuela the hard way. We used to publish all your photographs without any kind of filtering in Wikimedia Commons. And most of our volunteers have nicknames attached to the identity that were really matched to the real life personas. And after the central chick of Wikipedia, that turning into doxing of volunteers that edit insensitive topics like politics. So in the effort to attract new volunteers, we should always have like this Quebec a warning that it is better to be an anonymous person in the Wikimedia project than not. Another recommendation is to take it slow. One of the things that has been more painful for volunteers is the realization that we will not have the capacity to become a bigger chapter or a bigger affiliate, or to continue the path of professionalization that other affiliates in the region have pursued. It is a hard pill to swallow, because it's assumed that our efforts should be focused on survival and not immediate growth of the group. Taking slow means applying the serenity prayer sometimes, accepting the things that we cannot change, like our government, the crisis, how we lose half of our volunteer base, the courage to change the things we can, like how we interact with the projects, how we can do pr projects uh, without having like a physical venue, and the wisdom to know the difference between the two. And finally, Evaluate, iterate, and adapt. There are many tools from other communities and contexts that we didn't know about it, and we should be able to adapt on our own, and vice versa. In the end, I think we, it is an exercise of socialized information, just like the free encyclopedia does, with the hope that the next, the next iteration of crisis, protest, censorship, or whatever that happening in the world are, are make with volunteering better prepared, with more of our strength and fewer of our witnesses to be more confident, far-seeing, capable, and prudent. Gracias for listening to this presentation. It's been a pleasure.